Hey everybody, it's Cheryl and welcome back to Technique of the Week. It's week 31 and this week we're going to be talking about decolorant. And decolorant is a type of discharge paste which, if you remember, we talked a little bit about last week, regular discharge paste. But this discharge paste is a little bit different in that it uses sort it, it while it removes some color it also leaves some color behind so on a dark fabric where you're going to have uh, the discharge actually happen and you're going to have a light surface underneath you're going to actually leave behind some color so what's left behind is tinted um it is a little bit more like a paint uh plus a, a discharge paste so it's really cool stuff um, again very similar to last week this stuff does have a little bit of an odor to it although it is not as strong as regular discharge paste so it's something to keep in mind uh, again you want to protect yourself you're going to want to make sure that you use a respirator or open a lot of windows turn on the fan really uh, ventilate this this stuff because it does um, have a bit of a strong odor so uh, this is the stuff right here and I bought a pack came in uh, a little box and it had three different colors in it and this decolorant uh, was a pastel robin's egg blue which I thought would be kind of a neat thing to try now on this particular attempt I wanted to use a black fabric and again because with black fabrics you don't know what color you're going to get until you test your discharge paste. Sometimes you get sort of a brown effect, sometimes you can get sort of a blue or a purple uh, effect depending on the types of colors they used in the dye to get the black. So the piece of fabric that I used was a really nice piece of black cotton sateen and if you remember this design was done with the um, uh, with one of those uh, techniques we used a couple of weeks ago where I had created this little uh, screen print stencil of this little cuttlefish guy and I just went ahead and reused that same stencil for this technique brushed it on through the screen like a screen printing technique like you would normally do and then uh, let it completely dry steamed it with my iron and the color that left left behind that beautiful beautiful blue so I really thought this is a lot of fun um, you can get a lot of really nice effects with this again try the uh, sample with your your dark fabrics because again everything is going to be a little bit different on uh, depending on the fabric that you use so this was a lot of fun give this one a try and be sure to follow along on my blog at www.muppin.com. Don't forget that you can subscribe to this channel on YouTube and get a copy in your YouTube feed every single week. And you can also subscribe to my newsletter and you'll get the 52 Technique of the Week checklist where you can follow along with us every single week and see what the new techniques uh, that we have yet to do are coming up. So. Uh, thanks, and I will see you again next week, so bye!